I'm Jesse Ebney. I'm a producer on Need for Speed at Black Box Games in Vancouver, Canada. I mean, Slightly Mad Studios, formerly Blimey, we're all members of Simbin uh, and creators of GTR, GT Legends, uh, very serious simulation racing games. These are guys with a huge passion for racing uh, and video games, and they've uh, they've had some critically acclaimed successes. They've built some great technology and in being introduced to them we really saw potential for their all new next generation racing engine to add a full new fresh perspective to Need for Speed and so uh, collaboration with Slightly Mad has been great. Um, again their professionalism and their enthusiasm for racing is really bringing a, a, a new experience to Need for Speed. Shift is an authentic racing game. There's very many elements of it which are authentic to track-based racing. A Need for Speed game is fun, fresh, exciting, stylish, and most importantly, cool. And uh, automotive uh, racing is cool above all else. And the Need for Speed culture, uh, the fans, uh, the automotive industry is a very cool, you know, a stylish industry. And uh, Need for Speed really taps into that. Gamescom is crazy. Um, I really like the idea that it's public. I think all ages, even E3 has always had an age limit. Uh, the excitement from the fans, EA's commitment in Cologne to the community lounge, the size of the community and our effort to engage them, bring them into all of our franchises uh, is really cool. I think that's an awesome compliment to uh, the fan base here, a compliment to Gamescom. Um, certainly that stuff's running everywhere around here. Everybody's here in Europe, uh, like E3 once was, in a huge way. Everybody's demonstration. Need for Speed Shift is here as probably the funnest demonstration on the show floor, bar none. Uh, and uh, again, it's just an example of the kind of the, the attraction of Gamescom versus E3. We've certainly been talking to and engaging the community for several years on Need for Speed, listening to their concerns and comments and taking a lot of their feedback critically and uh, really looking at ways to improve that interaction with the community, both from uh, the needforspeed.com website, our Speed Hunters endeavor, and certainly through our, our Need for Speed revival with Shift. Um, Shift is kind of the next full step towards committing to um, creating add-ons, creating content, and creating a certainly community-based events around DLC um, long after launch. And so a commitment from the Need for Speed franchise to embrace post-launch development, to um, commit to, again, keeping the products fresh on the shelf and fresh in the, con in the players' consoles um, long after ship is, is a big step that Shift's taking to really uh, continue to listen to community feedback, um, take it into consideration and establish where we can start to integrate it into the development pipeline uh, in order to, for it to all become part of that DLC plan. And so it's, uh, it's really a, a, an actively engaging and, and back and forth communication channel that we'd love to continue to um, bolster within the community, show them some signs that we're listening to them, build further trust and, uh, and continue to again get their feedback, elicit their feedback really there. They're the, the best game players we have. They have the best ideas at uh, times and they, uh, they should be listened to. So we'd really love to give them a voice in the team and in the franchise.